What's up everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. And I'm Chris K. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. Alright, and welcome back for another episode. Now, if you want to get right to the gameplay, I would say click right here, but for some reason YouTube is being stupid, and if you click on that number, it'll just send you back to the beginning of the video. What? Dumb. So, you can go right to that number itself. So, whatever number it says right here, just, just go right to that number. and about right there. And it'll take you right to the gameplay. Otherwise, we're going to yak for a little bit, like yep. we usually do. There are three parts to the show. The first part, we talk about what's new with us in the world of gaming. Mm. The second part is we play a game that we previously picked out for the episode. And then the third part is we give our final thoughts on the game. Yeah. Is it good? Is it bad? Or is it just absolute garbage that Review needs it. to be thrown in the trash? Yeah. So, whatever. Without further ado, let's get to it. So, mm. Chris, is there anything new with you in the world of gaming? A little bit. I played a few new games. I played one game called Hammer Watch, which is on Steam. And it's like... It's an overhead view uh, like Final Fantasy or something like that, the original ones. Or Zelda. Zelda. Or yeah. Dragon Warrior. Or Dragon Warrior. <laughs> Where you're, you're done? <laughs> Where you're wandering around the map. and uh, Or loaded. Yep. So you're, you got, it's a multiplayer game, so you can play it online with other people. And so you you know you're going around and everything like that, and you can interact with people. And there's puzzles. It's a puzzle game, you know. And sometimes you got other things, whatever. And you know you have inventory and stuff like that. You can check and weapons. And so it's a really cool game. I like it. Uh, another awesome game what is what game was it called again? Hammer Watch. Hammer Watch. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm screwing it up like I did Guild Wars and calling it Gears of War. <sighs> Thanks, brain. So another game that I like to play. Uh, friends of mine uh, showed it to me was Bro Force, and Bro Force is it's just a hilarious game. Um, it's over satirical. You're going in to liberate countries, uh, killing terrorists, and uh, rescuing hostages. And every time you, re it's like a, a side scroller, and uh, it's like the old pixelated kind of characters, like uh, from Mario's days. Uh, but uh, they're just over the top action heroes. They're all parodies of action heroes from movies, yeah. and they just don't run out of action heroes. You get like every time you rescue a uh, a, a hostage, they um, you you often get a new character. There's a certain number of hostages you have to rescue before you can rescue another one, or a certain number of terrorists you have to kill. I'm not really sure, I don't remember now. But when you rescue a new hostage, you know, they get a new name, so they have like um, McGyver, except it's McBrover or something like that. Yeah. They'll be like Rambro and stuff like that, and that's just like over the top. You got, uh, you know, you can shoot through, through the ground and dig holes with your guns and stuff like that. It's hilarious. Uh, I find it kind of difficult because it's so fast paced, but I, I have to get used to it. But uh, that's a hilarious game. And that's on what, Steam? Yeah, I think it's on Steam, yeah. Broforce, it's called. Or maybe you can even download it on the PlayStation Network or something, too. Yeah, I forgot how you get to that. I think I'm it's on sure. Steam. Go look it up on yeah. Google. Google it. And that's it. All right, so nothing too new with me in the world of gaming. Usually we, um, I show stuff that I picked up from thrift stores or garage sales or video game trades from my friend Matt and whoever. Sweet. So here's a few things that I ended up picking up. Now, I was at a thrift store and I saw these laying around for a pretty good price, so I decided to pick them up. So the first game I got is Smackdown 2 for the original PlayStation. Smackdown 2, Know Your Role, and it is complete. Sweet. So manual and the game. So that's pretty cool. And then to go with Smackdown, I got Smackdown Shut Your Mouth for the PS2. So, and that one, once again, is complete. And that surprises me, finding complete games at thrift stores. Wow. Yeah. And then a couple other games I found were NHL Faceoff 2000. And once again, it's complete. So that's pretty cool. And then I got NBA Live 2001. And once again, that is complete. Yeah. And it even comes with this little thing, too. Thing. Tiny what little book. 
just advertisements for no, e no. EA games. Nice. Just a bunch of ads for all their sports, sports games. games. So whatever, yeah, these are all sports games fine, but they're complete and I got them for a cheap price. Nice. And then a couple more games we ended up picking up. You and I picked these up at my local gaming store. Mm. Yeah. WWF Royal Rumble on the Super Nintendo. And then another one we picked up is Judge Dredd. Now, we were doing a video shoot down in this town called River Falls. Mm -hmm. And we went to a local game store there, and yeah. we saw the game, Judge yeah. Dredd. And you were thinking of picking it up. Yeah, I thought about it, because I know a friend of mine who's like really into Judge Dredd. And uh, it was, it was like, what was it, five bucks? It was like eight bucks eight or bucks? something. Eight yeah, to ten dollars. Like, it was at a game store, so yeah. It was like eight ninety five or something yeah. for Judge Dredd. So yeah, you thought, thought about it, it, but you were like, well... Yeah. Maybe not, and I was like, that's okay. We'll go to my game store and see if they have it. So sure enough, I go to my game store, along with Zero Tolerance. Yeah. But um, yeah, we found Zero Just Tolerance, and we found that, Judge Dredd, sitting there. Yep, got it for like three bucks. Yeah, three dollars. That's awesome. So that was a pretty cool, pretty cool deal. Yeah. All right, now on to the game. And the game we are going to be playing today is 3D World Runner. Well, it says 3D World Runner. But on the back, it says, The 3D Battles of World Runner. The 3D Battles of World Runner. So, whatever. Apparently, they can't get the name right. And it's cool. It's the original box. And, of course, you know, we got the game with it. And it comes with the, the sleeve. Right there. And, of course, what makes it really cool, too? The manual. So, it's awesome. We're going to be reading the manual. And playing the game. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be a good time. Sweet. So it should be fun. So whatever. Let's pop the puppy in and get going. You ready yeah. to play? I'm game. All right. So once again, the 3D Battles of World Runner. That's what it's... So you can push start. And um, it takes right. us right to the... Should take us right to the game. You want to hit start? Yep. All right, here we go. So, this is you, pretty cool. Yeah, it's a pretty cool game. I mean, if you I'm, hit those, you get special things. I've been avoiding them for a little bit there in our practices. So we got missiles, that invincibility potion, and he just missed the third pillar. It's so difficult to control here. But in the third pillar, it's a mushroom. Now, usually from video games, mushrooms are good, oh, right? Yum, yum, yum. But this time, the mushrooms are bad and you'll actually die. Hmm. So, this game, it is a pretty cool... I always wanted it when I was a kid and I never got it, so it's kind of cool to have it now. Mm. And to go through and play it. So, the basic storyline of the game is that there's a solar system called... Solar System Number 517. And apparently it's being terrorized by a bunch of alien serpent beasts. And there are eight worlds in um, this solar system. And so um, the main bad guy, the, the big boss of the whole thing, is a guy named Grax. Now Grax has seven brothers, and each of those brothers go to like different... are on different worlds. Like one of his brothers are in this world right here. And when you get to the end, you gotta fight one of his dragon brothers. Apparently he's a dragon brother. Serpent beast dragons. Sure. Now, you said that gives me, that potion gives me one extra health hit point. Yeah, it's like, you, you got like armor on now. Now if I have two of them, does, does it just erase one another? You get points for the second one. Uh, so if you get a missile, like right now, well, if you hit B, you can fire a missile. Oh, good to know. But, if you get another missile, you just get points for it. Hmm, I see. And all that ding, ding, ding down at the bottom is kind of like a time limit thing I'm a jigger. Don't get that. So Don't you, eat the shrooms. If you fool around long enough, you can run out of time and die. Hmm. And those are fire oh, pillars. No. You can't touch those. Oh, I hit him and I still have my, my invincibility thingy. So, now What's that, that will give you like... Yeah, now you're like invincible. It's like star power, but now it's done. Oh, and it took away my hit point. Yeah, it's because as soon as you ran out of that invincibility... I just got hit again. You hit, and it took away your... Your armor. I'm going to call it armor. 
so that's the first brother. Um, and this world, world number one, is actually called Uno. Uno, oh, that's, of course. That's the name of the world, Uno. And then world number two is called Dos. The planet of Dos. Actually, it's written in there if you want to read it. Yeah, I'm just making fun. Toro, I think it's Toro. Toro. Moon like world has more canyons and they're even closer together. And the one thing too that I find really cool about this is the the graphics. Like look at that. Look at the background. Yeah. And you can like keep scrolling left to right. Well, no. Screwing around. Yeah. But it's cool though like you can see the big planets and stuff in the background. Yeah. Just turn this into a movie. This guy shoots out of his chest. He's got a chest cannon. Like I said, you can just keep running back and forth, and it um, eventually it loops. But the stages themselves, the planets look really, really cool. Yeah. Aliens are really into checkers. Like they just checker the entire planet. This is one of those games too. You really have to like concentrate. You do, yeah. It's, it's like, like there is so much stuff going on. Oh, there's a little glitch there on this pillar. That's weird. Dang. It's like you just got to do this the whole game. All right, and these hands can be extremely irritating. Right like, now, yeah. Uh, see, look at that, and they jump with you. Some That's of them terrible. do. Other ones don't. They look like the Facebook thumbs up thing. No, oh, like, 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 like us on Facebook. Giant fun blocking hands. And these stars, I don't remember what they say. Maybe that tells you in the manual, but I'm pretty sure the stars only give you points. Oh. And well, we haven't gone bonus. to it yet, but there's a balloon, and when you hit the balloon, it'll take you to a bonus level. Hmm. Stars. Catch as many of the stars as you can. They're worth extra points. Points? Well, that's pointless. Yeah. Have a heart. Don't pass up this one. It gives you an extra life. Yeah, there are hearts in here that'll give you extra lives. Atomic power. This little atom-like morsel will also make you unstoppable, but its power, too, is temporary. Yeah, extremely. Like, if you really needed three seconds of invincibility, you shouldn't have gotten this far into the game. Another thing that's really cool that I like is the music. It's like such a catchy, upbeat tune. Yeah. I mean, you can hear it like for five seconds and you already have it memorized. It reminds me a little bit of the, the dwarf song from Snow White. So, what's gonna happen here is I have to fight this serpent beast. I beat him, but now I gotta fight another one. Ah. Twins. Doesn't it say it in the manual that they're twins or something? The Serpent Beasts. Good news, everyone! The inhabitants of Solar System 517 know that their just... task they've been given is. Man, such long sentences. Just cracks his missiles. back. They like I read a novel in here. Uh, power potion, atomic power. They have a heart, superstars. All right. I don't know. It doesn't. And the cool thing too, if you hit pause, he sits down and takes a break from running. Yeah. Just, oh, he's just tired. Man, just chilling out here. So here you go. A well placed hit kills them. They don't go down easy. Now this stage, you're this free is to um. While I'm playing a video game. This is world three. The problem is that this world, for some reason, is extremely brutal. No. It's like you get, okay, easy, it starts off easy, easy, and then it goes to like very hard. Hmm. This World 3 is extremely tough for some reason. I don't know why. So right now we're in World 3, and you can hit those frogs and they'll bounce you, which you need oh. to do. This is why it gets ridiculous. This is like, you're going to spend five hours just to try to jump over gaps. Oh, crap. No! Shoot. I can hardly hit things as it is. This is what makes this stage brutal. You have to like already be bouncing on them. And you have to maintain your momentum. Like you cannot fool around. Oh jeez. 
but now you gotta stop and then like wait until you see like now. Ugh! Son of a gun! So now what you wanna do? Did I do that? I don't know. Now what you wanna do is because you're at a game over. It even says it in here. You hold down the A this button. This is A, right? Yeah. You hold down the A and you push start, and it starts you right back Thank at the goodness. same world. Thank goodness. No, it's not cheating because it says it in the manual. It's kind of hidden though. It's annoying. It actually no. tells you in the manual to do that. So anyway, world three. No! Oh, son of a gun, why is this so... So it's the name of this nice world thing. is Caverno. Caverno? 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 Caverno. It's Caverno. Some of the canyons... Some of the canyons are so wide, you'll need special jumpers to get over them. Which I guess that's what those are. The explanation for the last world that I was in said the moon's the moon-like world. This moon-like world has more canyons, and they're even closer together. Oh no! Good thing they're spaced nicely. Yeah, and the problem with that though is you usually, you have to hold up the whole time to maintain your momentum. As soon, the split second that you let go of up, oh, put a big fire pillar in the way. The instant you let go of up, you lose your momentum yeah. and you die. You slow down. I'm just gonna jump over. I'm gonna follow these lemmings over here. Okay, A start. You have to be really careful. You can't get upset if you lose. You don't want to lose your chance to. Proceed. Continue. Insert new coin. In this stage, I always oh. thought was really cool because it um. Son of a gun! I hit jump. Like the background, it really reminds me of um, Super Mario Brothers 2, hmm. the USA version. Kind of reminds me of uh, Felucia from Star Wars. No, I have to hit that one. Oh, for crying out loud! This is one of those games that like you have to memorize. I hate this game. Yeah, now I know in some of these deeper uh, canyons, oh, oh, after a while, it'll put up a fire pillar, mm. and you have to guide yourself yeah. left to right. I know, I know. Like the that. instant, the instant you see it, it's like now go to the right. Ah, oh, son of a gun! And then I dropped the, uh, I dropped the up button for a second so I could hit left, and he, he just dropped. H.G. Wells, which probably looked nothing like that. Come on! Oh, he's just so touchy. Yeah, the controls are very, like, you barely touch right and he goes flying off to the right. You barely touch left, he goes careening off to the left. You hold up to maintain your speed. The like instant you, you let twitch. it go, he just slows down super fast. It's like you can't twitch there. It just, like, zings left and right or he just stops completely. Oh, I missed him. Like, uh, it's like the freaking missiles on uh, Wexellent in yeah. Wild 9. Another thing is, too, I don't know if you want to do it now, but um, it is a 3D game. So if you actually hit select, oh, you'll, yeah. Um, yeah, it'll take you into 3D. Yeah. So if you have the 3D glasses, you can play it like that. I'm not going to because it's messing me up. But that is like a really cool feature. I like that idea. I'd like to... Turn it into a 3D, 3D YouTube video for your Google Glasses. Then you can watch me suck in 3D. Yeah. Alright, so those things that you can jump on, those are actually called Junior Jumper. They make you jump higher and farther. And for some of those canyons, you're, you are going to need them. You really have to think fast in this game. I just gave up a rocket because I thought maybe it was a mushroom. And those things, uh, the little green guys that are going back and forth, those are called menacing meanies. You run into these guys all over the place from the second you set foot in solar system number 517. They may change colors depending on what world you're in, but they'll always be a menace. Stay out of, the, stay out of their way or zap them with your laser missile. Fun blocking faces. And then there's some other enemies, um, hopefully if we, I don't think they've popped up yet. They're called White Willies. They look kind of like green meanies, but they're faster and tougher. Anyway, avoid these deadly delights at all cost. Deadly delights? You hear that? 
The game thought you died. The game actually legit thought you died, so it played it the played kill the you. death music? Yeah. And now there's nothing. It's like, oh, he's just gonna die. Like, that's really judgmental game, you know that? It's like, ah, pff, he can't make it. Oh, oh, well, the song's already over now. Oh, this is so difficult. And in the last stage, those little hands that kept blocking me, those were called Hand Man. Hand Man? Yeah. These roving hand, this roving hand tries to stop anything and everything that gets in its way, including you. And sell you Hamburger Helper. Yeah. Oh! Then I get to wondering, like, are those flowers supposed to be dead in the background? I don't know, I think they're just kind of wilty. They're just too heavy. So y'all are dying. Because Grax is here. Yeah. One of Grax's brothers is here. And Caverno. Caverno? Maybe it's Sunset. Caverno. Caverno. Then Aquo. Come and, on! And Vinso. And then finally, Fino. Fino? Fino? Fin. The end. At least for the duration of your current life. Oh. <sighs> Alright. Oh! Now there's ghosts flying around. Let me see who they Where are. Where are they? There's nothing there! Son of a gun. It says, the clues. Be sure and get at least one laser missile as soon as possible at the beginning of each life. All the others are strictly for points. One pixel off. For the oh, wider no. canyons, try and collect as many extra lives as possible. And then oh. it finally says, when you lose the game, at um, when you lose a game and want to start over from the beginning of the world you were destroyed and follow these simple steps. Hold A... Hold down button A and press start. So, you having fun? Yay! It's enjoyable. It's exciting! And like I said, this world is like one of the most brutal ones. It's like it goes from very easy to just like very hard in a heartbeat. But it's for kids. Yeah, it's for children. For little five-year-old children. Yay! Best birthday present ever, Daddy! Those, Demon's I think, spawn. are, um... Look what those... Look up what those were. My hand hurts from holding up the up button. Those enemies oh, that... Oh, crap. You said look like ghosts. Yeah. They're slimers, right? Look like fire. Might be a green fire. Oh, come on! <laughs> the only thing in here that I can see that looks like it... It says Venus Die Trap. <laughs> Don't get stuck in this thing's... In this thing's sticky tendrils. That's a good name. I like that name. Slip by it or, or slip it a deadly blast. You got stuck in a Venus Die Trap. <laughs> Alright. Hurry up. I want to play. Well, tell this game to stop sucking. See, that's the part that gets hard is when you got to do that. It's like, uh, 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 uh. Then you have to go one direction or the other. You have to pay attention to which direction you're supposed to go on at, on later jumps. Yeah. Stop! I want to slap this guy. Usually for parts like that. When I know I'm coming up on a canyon, I just hold down and I slow down and try to get myself lined up pretty good. I got an idea. Okay, every time I die, you have to take a drink. <laughs> Alright? Take a shot every time I die. Yeah, take a shot of Dr. Pepper. Yeah, Dr. Pepper. That's what I meant. The stage is almost like World 3. Now we're on 3-2. So it's like the world is broken up into like different sections. Oh, I tapped it. I'm sorry, I tapped it and I didn't. Kind of like I didn't in... hold it up. 
Oh, wow. Oh! And apparently, too, the guy's name is Jack. Oh, really? But it's only in, like, the Japanese Famicom version. Over there in Japan, his name is Jack. Does Which, he be nimble and be quick? Yeah. And jump over the candlestick? Yeah. That's the candlestick, right? The fiery pillar, that must be the candlestick. Yeah. That's why they named him Jack. Ah, oh, Jackson! However, um, in the American version that we got, he's called World Runner. So that's his name. We're Mr. gonna call him World Runner. It's like Princess Peach and Princess Toadstool. Mm -hmm. It's like here in America, she was called Toadstool. For the Sega Genesis and Sega Mega Drive. Which I think, I think Toadstool is way better than Princess Peach. It fits. It fits she lives the in the Mushroom There's Kingdom. There's no peaches in the entire game. Yeah, so it's like, why call her Peach? There's the Venus Die Trap. Oh! Because I had to go to the right and not the left. I'm like, no! Because there's nothing on the left. It's like, no, you have to go in one specific direction. You're getting there. Oh! I just wanted to fine tune it. I just wanted to friggin' fine tune it. Went through stages one and worlds one and two really quick. Now look at this. Maybe I should just hold down the, the right button instead of trying to fine tune it. Maybe I should just zing off. Maybe it's programmed for me to, to let me zing off to one side. No, no, no it's not. Welcome to 3D World Runner. We'll be here all day. Cause it's like, oh yeah, you get points, you get the high score. It's like, come on, we want to beat the game. Like, that's the weird thing about Nintendo. It's like they'll have games like this that you, there's an ending to it, you can beat it, but then they're like worried about you getting your points. Yeah. I guess it was to cater for the- Oh no, I held the, I, I took my butt finger off the button for a split second. It's like, nope. Yeah, the instant you take your finger off the up button, he like you, just- You lose your, your momentum. Completely lose your momentum. Do, 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 you stink at this game. <sighs> Reminds me of that, what is it, a Swedish video where they like slide down the slide and uh, it's like a wet slide, you know, whatever those things are called. Slip and slide? Slip and slide down like a really steep hill. Oh wow, it's a miracle! Well, that's Never a far, mind. That was the farthest so far. Now, oh! I need like a joystick so I can just hold it up the whole time and have a little bit more control. We could hook like up like a the massive joystick. We could hook up the advantage. Want to try it? I just need to find out where... I had my... There it is over there. So there you That's go. That's heavy. Let's see what you think of that. A and start. Okay. Okay. Okay, start isn't working. There we go. Hopefully that helps out. Yeah. So my fingers were getting sore. It's the first time we've actually played with an NES Advantage. It is. I have to get used to this. Little learning curve here. Bear with me. It's almost like this. Oh! It's almost like the shifting it up on land is like practice for before you get to the. Uh... Chomp chomps? Oh! For Mario 3. It's a and start. Oh! I don't know, man. I have to get used to this. <laughs> that is not that much easier. I just can't get it right on. This is miserable. I am so glad we get to repeat the level. I'm getting better. This joystick does help. I wonder, too, um, I don't know if I have it here or where it would be. But I also have a quick shot. 
for the NES. Huh. It's like one of those, it's like for doing airplane games and stuff. Where's the frogs? Holy cow, I think we you made it farther. This is the farthest you've made. There's a balloon. There's balloons. <gasps> Crap! Crap! No! What was the farthest you made it? Now it's like time to rememorize. Time to rememorize. It's like, no, that was what? the wrong frog. Oh, wrong one! That was the wrong one. You had to hit the one that was close. That's that's one of the things is you have to hit the frog usually that's closest to the pillar, closest to the to the edge. The edge. See, it's almost like a glitch. Like if you hit too much on the edge, where it yeah. still counts, that yeah, your foot hit the game's like, oh wait a minute. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Kind of refreshing not having that music. It is. What the heck? Here we go. Whoop! Nope. Absolutely friggin' not. No! No! In the Venus die trap. What was what that? What was that? The frack? I had a guy at work the other day asking for something that doesn't even exist. He's just making up words <laughs> at a certain point. And it's like, yeah, I want one of those drip sills. The drip sills. And I keep trying to get him to clarify what exactly it is he's looking for. And he's looking at me like I'm an idiot. You don't know what a drip sill is? It's like, no, I, I guess I don't. And he's it's like, every time I try to get him to clarify, he keeps changing it. Until he like changed it to something where he says, yeah, yeah, a door sill, I like on a threshold. It's like, okay, so I th showed him the threshold, the door sills. Like, no, you don't know what a drip sill is? Like, n no, I, I don't, because I don't think that's a thing. I didn't say that, but it's not a thing. He meant a drip cap. Hmm. Like, what the f*** are you talking about? For like, above the window, and he didn't even say that. He said for below the door. Why did you say below the door? Yeah, below the door, you know, above the window. Duh! Give me like I'm a retard. <laughs> Keeps changing. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't change the product like five more times. <laughs> it's like they just make up crap off the top of their... They're, they're totally wrong. Yeah. They say something and it's completely wrong, but then they, they act like you're an idiot when you don't understand what they're talking about. And they're the ones that are, that are totally wrong. And if they find out that they're wrong, they don't care. No. <laughs> like, ah! And the first thing, like, like one of the things I thought is like, I don't want to ask this guy to repeat himself a million times here. So I'm gonna ask him to to give me a little bit more information. Like, so, so what kind of material is it made of? Like, what do you mean? Like, like, is it vinyl? Is it a no? A drip cell? It's like, all right. Now, now you gotta wait till the second frog. Oh crap! Oh, that was so lucky. Okay, now you gotta slow down. Okay. No! <coughs> See, that's what usually what I try to do is, um... No! When I start getting into new sections, I try to just slow down as much as I can. So I can see in what's yeah. coming up. What the f... I just barely tapped it. Like, okay, I'm just... Let's... Boom! Now let me get upset and break my hand on the wall. Yeah, we can stop it.